expect me to just step aside and let you go back to prison. I love you. I love you too. I know it's gonna be tough, but I'm, I'm gonna do my time and I might even get out early. Get out early? I'm sorry for being a realist, Jason. You may serve two to five years, but considering how many people want you dead, I really don't see that happening. I can, I can take care of myself. I know, I know you can, and that is the problem here. What happens when you kill somebody because you have to defend yourself? Then that five years turns into a life sentence. I'm sorry, the only thing that looks like a, an idea of a possibility of spending a life with you is doing what Spinelli says. Sam, I, I know, Jason, I know, our families. We'd be leaving everybody, everybody that we love. I want a life with you. And I thought you wanted one with I, me too. I, I do want a okay, life. Okay, so then let's go, please. Jason, I am begging you, please. Leave with me now. Leave and never look back. Set up. Tickets out of the country, fake IDs. We can get your ankle monitor off without anyone knowing. All we have to do is go. And we have to go, Jason. Leaving the country is our yeah, only so option. It's not fair to listen, ask you. listen to me. Okay, fine. We will be making sacrifices. But we're going to be together. We're going to be free. Isn't that what you wanted? Yes. Sam, I don't, I don't want to. I don't want to be in Pentonville. But you're going back. But we'd be giving too much up if we ran. Jason, I already told you I don't care. I love my family, but I want to be with you I know, more. but I, I want to get out of Pentonville and live live here in Port Charles with you. Yeah, okay, but really the odds of that happening are, I don't know, you could potentially stay there forever. God forbid, get killed. I'm going to have to take my chances and try to survive without getting a longer sentence. I'm sorry, but those are really lousy odds. Sorry. I just I wish things could be different. But it's too late to change. And can you forgive me for this choice? Yes. But do you still want me to wait for you? Of course, more than anything, but that has to be your decision. I'm going to accept that. margin I have ever beat you. You're going to be sorry you never challenged me. I told you I was going to win. 
how, 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 how'd you do that? Raw talent. That's how I raw, did it. And look at how many talent. John Doe's you have left. I to, this is I a, lot a lot of points. Of points. You know? I, know I told you I was going to beat you by the biggest margin I've I think ever you beat you before. I think by three moves back. I think you No, I think I've you got cheated. two words did, for you. Sore loser. Stop. That's it. Got the initial autopsy report back from the LAPD. And? The guy's body was a mess, full of internal injuries, as you might understand. You know I didn't push Franco, right? Yeah, I believe you. In fact, I'd bet the entire police benevolent fund on it. Well, what happened? The body that scraped off the pavement wasn't Franco's. that the guy who fell off the roof was not Franco. He had stage four cancer, probably a few months to live. He must have worked out some kind of a deal with Franco. So Franco's still alive. And we have no idea where he is. <coughs> Mom, may we please come in? Luckiest baby in the world to have you for a mom. Where did you get him? Doesn't matter. You're in a new house in a new town. And now you won't be lonely. It isn't right. It's the least I can do. You're gonna give him a great life like you gave me. And he won't be as much trouble. Oh. oh. He is awfully cute. Cute. But this baby is a newborn. Did you feed him? Bobby, tell me you fed him. I tried. He wouldn't eat anything. I don't think he knows how. They got him formula and everything. Oh, he should be eating every two or three hours. I got him here as soon as I could. He just kept crying. I couldn't make him stop. And real babies are more difficult than ideas of babies. Or even pictures of babies. Poor little guy, you must be starving. But we'll take care of that. Don't you worry. At least this appears to prove that you didn't push Franco off the Yeah, there. Franco probably watched me get arrested from, from the roof, the son of a bitch. You want to walk me through what happened? I, uh, I chased Franco up the stairs. He opened the door, went onto the roof, and he slammed the door behind him. How much lead time did he have? I don't know, 20, 30 seconds. I opened the door, he was across the roof. I didn't see his face, but I thought it was Franco because he yelled that he knew where the baby is, and then he jumped. So this is his, his version of performance art? What do you call it, dissolving the boundaries or something? And now he has the baby. Hello? Could you meet me at Kelly's? Christina? I really need to talk. Look, um, I'm sorry, babe. It's like, it's not... Okay, yeah, uh, I'll see you in a few. Well, you should go. You don't have to watch Dante take me back to prison. Well, Franco's still out there. You're not going back to prison. Not yet, anyway. Session with you is his only vulnerability. You know, when, when we were in the stairwell, Franco was talking about how a baby changes your perspective. 
I mean, that's that's what he wanted all along was was a baby. Everything else was just a game. You know, I, I'm gonna go run this all by Lucky. You stay put, okay?